We start <clears throat> in the order according to the list. It's my great pleasure to welcome the first of the distinguished speakers today. We have the pleasure to have the Deputy Prime Minister from Namibia, the Honorable Marco Musuko Hauzuki. Deputy Prime Minister, you have the floor. Thank you. Chair. <clears throat> Chairman, Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, it is my singular honor and privilege to address the fourth session of the Global Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction. Firstly, I would like to express on behalf of the Namibian delegation our gratitude and appreciation to the government of Switzerland and its people for having agreed to host this conference and making it possible for us to be here. Secondly, I would like to thank the conference organizers for organizing such a wonderful conference and selecting a proper theme for this conference, namely, invest today for a saver tomorrow. It is not only the theme which is relevant, but the topics too. Hence, in our opinion, the organizers should be commended. Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, different types of disasters are on the increase in the world, and none of us can say this will not happen to me or my country. Yes, no one is to immune to these disasters. Lives are being lost, Properties and environment are damaged or destroyed, and developmental gains are reversed or delayed. Causes for the known disasters are linked to human activities such as industrialization that had a strong link to climate change, ways of living such as unplanned urbanization, and rural settlement, poverty, declining ecosystem and HIV AIDS influences the impacts of disasters in our countries and communities. Hence, the need to address the causes with more comprehensive and appropriate tools. Therefore, Your Excellencies, in 2005, 168 countries of the world adopted an international guideline called the Yogo Framework for Action to guide state actions in addressing the impacts of disasters. Namibia participated at the occasion that adopted the Hyogo Framework for Action and resolved to implement the provision thereof to the best of our ability. Namibia established a national structure dealing with disaster issues under the office of the Prime Minister and supervised by the Deputy Prime Minister of the Republic of Namibia. This structure is replicated at all levels of our administration, namely the national, the regional, and local, including traditional authorities. Key role players are the government, non-governmental organizations, community and faith-based organizations, private sector, as well as the international community. The structure is fully funded by the government. However, some projects such as training and research are supported by our developmental partners through bilateral or multilateral arrangements. 
the contribution made through the United Nations country office and diplomatic missions in Namibia are huge and we highly appreciate that. Likewise, we managed to develop a national policy on disaster risk management based or passed the Disaster Risk Management Act, Act Number no. 2 of 2012, and a number of operational plans and procedure manuals. In short, Namibia did well in terms of key performance area one and key performance area two of the Hyogo Framework of Action 2005-2015. Namibia achieved little regards the key performance area three that calls for the reduction on the underlying risks and vulnerability factors by improving risk management applications due to socioeconomic reasons such as underdevelopment, unemployment, poverty, diseases, and economic disparity among members of our society. However, efforts are being made for some of those factors to be addressed through the implementation of the, Mil the Millennium Development Goals. We have done our best to address key performance area four that deals with the strengthening of disaster preparedness for effective emergency response and recovery practice, uh, practice at all levels. A number of hazard-based contingency plans or multi-hazard contingency plans have been developed as well as providing training for government and non-governmental personnel. Nevertheless, effective implementation of such plans is a bit challenging in a society like ours, which is still developing. Namibia is faced with a challenge in implementing activities regarding key performance area five, especially the integration of disaster risk reduction into schools and learning institutions curricula, researches, and community-based disaster training programs. We urge that issues of capacity and enhancement should form the basis of the new guidelines. Emphasis should be put on institutional capacity building, such as regional economic blocks, national learning or training institutions, as well as research institutions. Furthermore, a link between climate change, disaster risk reduction, and development was clearly established during the implementation of the Hyogo Framework of Action 2005-2015. Thus, in our opinion, the effective way of dealing with these two issues is to integrate climate change and disaster risk reduction into national and sector development plans. Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, Namibia would like to urge for a new framework which will enjoy full political, public, and community support. I thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Deputy Prime Minister.